what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so this is a quick update video to see where we're at uh, I will be home later this week my parts for the 2025 uh, steam locomotive has come in I got the new pilot truck and a new rear truck that came with it so I got another set if I need it um, the steam turbine should be home this week and we will get a video of that running because I really would like my kids to see it run while I'm home and while my oldest son's here before he goes back home to start doing his uh, football camp stuff. And um, that was his grandfather's locomotive, so I really want him to see that locomotive run. Uh, I'm also, right now, eBay and I are going back and forth with a seller over a uh, scale, old scale metal stamp doors that I had ordered for the double the double door car and they have yet to show, show up it's been almost a month and I've contacted the seller asked him about it and he said well you know depending on how Oregon does stuff well I want my product so he hopefully he will actually get that found and we can get it delivered so I can get the car painted um, Circus City decals has told me that they'll be willing to make the decals for me for the Keaton Sherrill car, passenger cars, and for the box car, but they need something to go by to make them. So, and give me the link, give them the link to the car. And of course, like I told them, you know, I got one car that's just humongous and dwarfs everything. Uh, that's two rail low scale. You know, that was two rail low scale, it's now three rail. Um, and that's another thing, another one I gotta do. I'm gonna get the doors done, or not the doors, but the steps, and get the two pieces of racing made and then get ready for that for paint so that it's ready to go onto the train and hopefully we can this week also get the experiment done to see if I can fiberglass up a 17 inch Kinky Shero body. I'm still doing the woodwork but I'm kind of wanting to do some experimenting to see kind of make it a little bit easier to go out. Um, and then from there, see what happens. Uh, I've also reached out to a couple of good friends of mine down in Mexico um, about finding out the drawings or dimensions or some pictures of the Kinky Cheryl trucks. And I've reached out to my brother as well about doing some 3D printing for me uh, until I can acquire a 3D printer to be able to make my own. And then I will actually have some of these trucks going up to sell. Um, other than that, I think we got pretty much what's covered. Um, hopefully, this week I'll go ahead and pick up the next section to the diorama, which can be a little bit hard because I got both my kids with me my oldest son and my next oldest son. So, both my boys are with me here in the truck. And there's not a whole lot of room. We're having three people on a truck. It makes it a little bit difficult. Um, but we'll see. I might just go run down to Home Depot and pick that up at home. Um, and then from there, of course, if I get to Menards, I'll pick up some more tracks so I can get this thing finished up. Get the stand built, uh, which my brother David, uh, his brother, half-brother, uh, has a bunch of old fence posting, or fence, not fence post, but the fencing stuff, and told me I could have as much of it I want. So that's what I'm going to build a stand out of, and I'm also going to polyurethane it. And it's going to get a whole nine yards done to it because I want to get that old school look, kind of like a, a boxcar feel, you know, for the stand to sit on. Um, so just a little bit of time, you know, we're just knocking the projects out, and as again, this train is going to be 22 cars long between the two uh, reefer cars, the double door box car. I was going to do a tank car, but I'm still not too sure if I want to do that one because I can use it as a water car. Um, so I'm not really too sure on that one. But as I said before, I'm going to have to have a couple of big locomotives to pull this train because it's going to be somewhat heavy and well, somewhat long, so 
Again, that goes back to the 464 Hudson's, uh, the scale Hudson's, or a scale 484 with a diesel pusher. And because I definitely want to represent both eras of the Mexico Railroad, NDM and the FM. So that's something I'm really after to do. Uh, but other than that, as always, please keep the shiny side up and the rubber down. Please come back to see, see this video and uh, please hit like and subscribe. See y'all in the next video.